Hey, what's going on YouTube? I want to show you how I was able to build my own hydraulic exhaust expanding kit uh, from two kits available on Amazon. And um, I'll drop the, uh, the links in the description below. But um, for anyone doing car projects, doing exhaust, you're kind of you're doing a custom kit or something, you often find yourself having to expand the, the pieces of pipe. And usually we all run to something like this which either breaks or doesn't give the right exhaust um, flare or is just an, over, just an overall pain in the ass to work with. So what I ended up buying were these two kits, uh, mainly because the hydraulic kit that does it all uh, up here in Canada is about $400, but these two kits um, can be purchased for total around $200 um, and work the same. So here I'm doing um, two and a half inch stainless steel exhaust, so you can see the nice flare and let's get into the picture there. You can see that they slip together, nice, nice tight fit. You can run your weld all the way around like that. So what I ended up buying was uh, the Amazon uh, hydraulic conduit steel punch kit. That's what's shown in blue. And they give you the um, hydraulic pumper and then the cylinder and this thread the threaded uh, pull stud and the threaded pull stud is the same threads as the uh, exhaust expander which you'd use with like an impact gun or something um, so you use a combination of the uh, electrical conduit punch kit and the exhaust expansion kit and together they make a hydraulic flaring kit that uh, flares the pipe so I'll show you how we set it up so you use the rod from the uh, punch kit, thread that into the cylinder. You want that to thread all the way in. Then this collar, this is just a spacer that comes from the uh, punch kit as well. So you slide that on. And then in the case of this, I'm doing two and a half inch exhaust. So um, I use from the ex exhaust expander kit, this inner bushing, slide that on with the taper facing out. Here's the two and a half inch um, die from the exhaust expanding kit and you install that with this top ring facing the cylinder. And then you thread this wedge from the exhaust expanding kit, you thread that on. And you want to get it to the point where it just slips on the piece of steel. And you slide your exhaust pipe over it just to where this top ring is shown. That's it's kind of its depth gauge. If you slide it all the way in the pipe, you won't get the proper flare. So you want it just showing like that, just showing the, the ring. And then lock the tool and pump away. Um, depending on what, how big your, your wall thickness is, you might have to do a few trials of, um, you know, test fits to make sure, but, uh, it, it, it works great. Um, I've done it, a, a few flares on stainless. It doesn't have any issues. Um, the one thing I would recommend is because there's only four of these aluminum, uh, spacers that come out, um, I stop about halfway and then rotate the pipe because what will happen if you go, uh, completely in one position you end up with gaps when they flare out between the wedges and you kind of get a square flare so about halfway through the flare I stop release it rotate the pipe uh, about 15 degrees or so and then continue pumping and that gets you a nice a nice round um, flare um, one other tip I would recommend if you're going to do this um, grease everything the the pull stud the wedges um, the, it all has to be greased or else it'll, it'll, the thread will gall up or this will bind up. Um, I don't know if I'd be using this setup if I was in an exhaust shop or a muffler shop to using this day in and day out, but for, um, a car guy in their garage doing an exhaust kit, you know, once a year or doing a project car every now and then, or, uh, working on your own stuff, it's certainly easier than going to a muffler shop to get them to flare pipes or stuff like that. It just, it saves a bunch of time, um, and cost of pain that end. It's, uh, it's really easy to use. So I'll put the links in the uh, description for the two items, 
Uh, you can check them out if you want. Uh, it's a nice system. It, it, it works well for me. Uh, I haven't had any issues. Um, and I hope, hope it works out for you. All right, thank you. Bye.